video. My name is Tim Martin and I live in Goshen, Indiana for those of you that don't know. Um, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. I was honestly, I'm not going to lie to you, I was honestly planning on putting out a gardening video today and I was really excited about it but then this came up and I was like, you know what, I feel like I need to film this because I think it's going to fail. <laughs> So yeah, today's video is going to be a little bit different than I was originally planning, but the gardening video is coming, um, maybe next week, I don't know, um, yeah, but it is coming out, but um, yeah, I just figured I needed to do this, so here we go. So, the title is not clickbaity, we are going to make strawberry jam today, and it is my first time ever, and I am legitimately terrified because I don't know how this is going to go. So yesterday I went to Michigan. And I picked strawberries with my mom at a you pick patch because I planted strawberries in my garden this year, but obviously it's first year, so I don't have any berries. And if I did, it wouldn't be enough. So I went and picked strawberries with my mom, and she was actually, I was gonna make the jam in Michigan and she was gonna help me. And I was like, okay, good, mom can help me. It's not gonna be a failure. Well, one of the main ingredients that we needed was pectin, um, and it was like freezer pectin. And we went to like five different stores, four different stores. Nobody had it. Nobody was carrying it. So, <laughs> um, we did not get to make the jam and mom decided to just send the strawberries home with me and I was gonna get pecked in down here in Goshen and then make the jam myself. You can see why I think this is gonna be a failure. But, I got my pectin and I have my strawberries and we're gonna do this. And, because I am such a beginner at all this, I have to go to the store and get more sugar to make the jam. Because I was just on the phone with my mom a little bit ago, and throughout the course of our conversation, I told her that I bought sugar to make my jam, and she asked how much, and I told her, and apparently I didn't buy enough because I don't have a clue what I'm doing, so I have to go to the store and get more sugar. So we're gonna go do that, and I'll be right back. <laughs> I have never been the type of person that can just drive past wildflowers growing in the ditch and not stop to pick them. And today was no different. And honestly, I'm so glad I did. Also, tiger lilies will forever be my favorite. and then um, put them through the food processor and then I can mix in my sugar and all the other stuff. So I guess we're gonna see how this goes. I don't know. I try to clean my sink out regularly, but if I know I'm gonna be washing something like strawberries, um, I will be sure to scrub my sink. I don't know why, it just, to me, it's, it just feels like something I have to do if I know I'm gonna be um, washing something that I'm gonna eat in my sink. I don't know, I'm weird. <laughs>
And yes, I am dropping whole strawberries into the top of my food processor. I don't know. It's probably because I'm basically a child and it was fun. Don't hate me. <laughs> strawberries through the food processor and um, okay so I needed to say something really quick I know a lot of people like homemade jam or strawberry jam at least to have some like I don't know uh, chunks but like not like big pieces but they just like it to be a little more chunky um, that's how my mom always made it was a little bit chunkier and um, but my husband prefers it smooth with no chunks so yeah just because I made my strawberry jam very smooth that doesn't mean that's the way to do it or anything like that that's just what I know my husband is gonna prefer so that's what we did um anyways okay so now that I have all this done now I have to measure it out and do it I have to do it in like smaller batches but I have to add the sugar and the pectin which is right here in case you guys were curious what I was talking about when um I said pectin um I don't know if you can really see it it's like yeah, and the cool thing about this is you pull back the label right here and it has all your instructions on how to make your jam. And anyway, apparently if you use this stuff, you don't have to cook it. And my family feels like if you use this stuff and you just freeze it, you don't have to like um, go through the process of cooking it. Um, it makes it taste more, like more fresh, when especially like... Um, like middle of the winter, you can get your strawberry jam out and it just tastes so fresh. But, um, I'm not saying this is the only way to do it. I'm just saying this is what my family likes and kind of what I've just grown up having. Like I said, I've never done this before. So I'm going to try it and see how this goes. So yeah, but, um, I bought mine at Meyer. I think you can get it at like Walmart or, I don't know. I think you can get it at Walmart. But I looked at several Walmarts and I could not find it. Maybe it's just because they were out of stock, but. Meyer is where I got this, so in case you were wondering. <laughs> I forgot to mention that if you use the recipe on the bottle, um, it's just a small batch. So I actually went, um, I doubled it, and I wrote down new measurements on a piece of paper. Um, just to make things go a little faster, hopefully. But anyway, so yeah, um, the measurements that I'm doing here are not going to be what the bottle says. It's just doubled. Okay, so first of all, I'm supposed to add the sugar and the pectin and mix it together and then add the strawberries, so yeah. So excited.
am blown away to be honest but we don't have the verdict until Daryl tastes it because that's gonna make or break it <laughs> um, I I think I like it but I guess we'll find out when he gets home which should be any minute now so but until Daryl gets home why don't we take a quick look at what Leo has been up to all day I feel so special that Leo took time out of his busy day to pay attention to me. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm the guy that got you out of the coon trap this morning, remember that? Remember the stupid <laughs> idiot that went in there and thought he's gonna go in there and get the food? That wasn't for you. That was for other things. Leo, did you get caught in the live trap? Yeah, why don't you tell him how irritated you were when I had to come get you out? <laughs> Dumb thing. Leo. That's alright. No settle up. The trick here is even coverage. Even coverage was not too much on. There's a science behind putting this up on. Do you have enough on there? Take one. Yes, this is. It's very good. It's good? Yes. When we're going to eat the other 25... 27, but close! 27 containers is beyond good me. Good guess! It's good. It is. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. I made that bread for me. <laughs> Child. Oh my. You did not toast this nearly enough. Like I said, I made it for me. So I didn't go to your crispy black. I went to my light brown. Here you can have it. Nope. I really don't want it. <laughs> you didn't want it. I want to taste it. Fine. Why you put too much jelly on it? <laughs> no. Your bread to jelly ratio is way off. <laughs> Alright guys, it looks like my strawberry jam is Daryl approved, so I would consider that a success. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching today's video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Um, and I wanted to say a quick thank you to all of my subscribers. Um, just for following along on my journey here and for um, supporting me and also to all of my friends that have reached out and messaged me and um, just encouraged me. You guys mean the world to me and it just makes my day every time I get a message from one of you. So thank you so much for all of the encouragement. It means the world to me like I said. Um, and yeah, I guess I will see you back here next week for another video. Have a good week guys. Bye!